formwork, shoring, and bracing must be designed, fabricated, erected, supported, braced, and maintained to safely support all vertical and lateral loads until the loads can be supported by the structure itself. The planning and design of formwork must be in accordance with the provisions of the American Concrete Institute and the design must be done by a qualified person. An erection and removal plan will also need to be prepared and submitted to the GDA for review prior to the work. The erection and removal plan and the manufacturer's specifications for fabricated shoring systems must be available at the job site during job planning and execution. Once erected, the shoring must be inspected by an engineer qualified in structural design. Shoring equipment must be inspected prior to erection to determine that it is as specified in the shoring design. Any equipment found to be damaged will not be used. Erected shoring equipment must be inspected immediately prior to, during, and immediately after the placement of concrete. Any shoring equipment that's damaged, displaced, or weakened must be immediately reinforced or reshored. Reshoring must be provided to safely support slabs and beams after stripping or if members are subjected to superimposed loads. Fabricated shoring must never be loaded beyond the safe working load recommended by the manufacturer. Fabricated single post shores and adjusting devices cannot be used if they are heavily rusted, bent, dented, rewelded, or have broken welds or other defects. All timber and adjusting devices to be used for adjustable timber single post shores must be inspected before erection and free of timber that is structurally damaged. All nails used to secure bracing or adjustable timber single post shores must be driven home and the point of the nail bent over if possible. Forms and shores must not be removed until the person responsible for forming or shoring determines the concrete has enough strength to support its weight. Removal determination must be based on either one of the following. They meet the conditions in the plans and specifications for removal or concrete testing indicates the concrete has achieved sufficient strength to support its weight and superimposed loads. Reshoring can't be removed until the concrete being supported has attained adequate strength to support its weight as well as any load placed on it. Hi, I'm Jesse from Titan University, the leader in government construction safety, quality control, and environmental training. We hope you enjoyed the module preview from our online course, Concrete Safety and Requirements on Government Construction Projects. Please like, share, and comment if you did. We'd really appreciate it. If you want to learn more or get your Concrete Safety and Requirements Certificate, head on over to Titan University by clicking the link below. Our courses are affordable and easy to comprehend. Plus, we also have course materials you can download to assist you. The Concrete Safety course has several modules. But take your time. All of our courses save your place if you have to walk away. Take as long as you like to complete it. Please don't forget to like and share. If you have questions, ask them in the comments. We're happy to assist and hope to see you over on Titan University.